how you doing? Professor Hiccup here. Uh, thank you for attending today's class. Uh, today's class is Music Video 101, Belly Idol Rebel Yell. Now, these classes are totally free where we watch uh, some classic music, and hopefully you may or may not learn something new. And this class is totally free. Oh, speaking of free, uh, feel free to click subscribe and or like. And uh, that is totally free to you. And it's, uh, it's also good for the environment. Uh, so uh, let's get into this video. Uh, like I said, it's going to be Billy Idol Rebel Yell. This is the official video. I believe the song itself came out in 1983, I want to say. All right, let's watch a little Billy. Again, another video I haven't seen in forever. Billy. Okay, now Billy Idol is uh, uh, famous for <laughs> two things while he performs pumping his fist to the music and a sneer. Now, the sneer supposedly is a tribute to Elvis. Uh, I mean, it's obvious that Billy uh, kind of sounds a little bit like Elvis, kind of emulates him a little bit. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a video on YouTube, you can find it somewhere, where he does an uh, interview with David Letterman uh, back in the day when he was about this young. And I think he actually talks about that a little bit. But anyhow, um, Billy Idol uh, was originally in a band called Generation X, who did have uh, very good success especially over in the uk and uh he did like three albums with them and then he came to the united states and decided to go solo uh here in the states he met steve stevens who's his guitar player and together with billy's uh uh knowledge of punk rock from generation x his love of dance music and with steve stevens uh glam rock guitar background they kind of created something a little bit new at the time um, but yeah, sorry about uh, yapping, but let's get back into this. Now, if you didn't pick it up, uh, the song is basically just about a one-night stand. Um, I don't have to break down the lyrics or anything because it's kind of self-explanatory. Again, he uses, you know, other symbolic words instead of saying certain things straight out, but it's, that's what it's about. Um, what was I going to say here? Oh, uh, Steve Stevens, the guitarist, uh, is actually quite an accomplished musician in his own right he's probably a, in my top 10 favorite guitarists of all time uh and he's actually played with everyone from michael jackson to uh, uh sebastian bach he was asked to play uh at van halen at one point um he, he's done a lot of stuff he actually wrote the uh anthem to the movie top gun uh let's get back into the video i'm loving this old video
Mr. Charisma. You can see the Elvis influence here. All right, you never interrupt a guitar solo. Um, unfortunately, in my life, Billy Idol and Steve Stevens, actually I've seen Steve Stevens, but Billy Idol is one of the only performers who I've never seen who I want to see. Um, I actually had tickets to go see him last year uh, at an outdoor venue. And unfortunately on that day, not only did it rain, but my car broke down right before I left. Uh, so I have never actually seen Billy Idol live yet. Um, he is high on my agenda to see. And uh, even if he does a, a uh, thing in Vegas, uh, what they call it, a residency in Vegas, uh, I think he's definitely worth going to see. Uh, at his age, he's still rocking out. Uh, there's some stuff you can look up online that he just did last year that he sounds just as good, if not better, than he did back then. Right, let's get back to the video. That was Billy Idol. Um, you know, thank God for uh, MTV. Uh, when that first came out, that probably is what propelled him to stardom. Um, you know, because everything about him is just uh, uh, what a rock idol should be. Um, and actually, even though his name is Billy Idol, which isn't his real name, of course, he didn't take the name Idol to be as a rock idol. Uh, he actually took the name Idol because when he was younger and in school, his teachers always said that's all he was in class was idle. He did nothing. So he took it, did the, the change in the spelling, and that's that. Um, so that was Billy Idol, uh, somebody who I have not seen yet, who I am dying to see. And like I said, you know, he's just as good now as he was back then, if not better, in my opinion, with some stuff. And uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed that video. I haven't seen it in a long time, and it was well worth seeing it again. So hopefully... You have a good night and uh, talk to you in a bit and that's a wrap.